Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market and it is time for another Goodwill plus size clothing haul. I think this time my total spend was about $300 and I got 42 items. So average cost of goods would have been about $7. Now I do have a few new tag items. I have a jacket and two dresses I did pay up for and we will get to those. So as always, just in the beginning, a little preface that I am new to the world of reselling clothing, not even six months. So please, everything I say, take it with a grain of salt as I am learning as you guys are learning. Make sure to do your own research as well. I just kind of go for what I want my closets to look like, Poshmark, Mercari, eBay is where I sell my clothing. And at the time of this filming, not everything may be listed yet. So if you are interested in anything and you do not see on my Poshmark, eBay, or Mercari, which are all in the link tree link below, feel free to email me, sidestreetmarketsales at gmail.com, and I can move your items to the front of the line. I'll list them up on Poshmark so you can review all the dimensions, and we can go from there because I've had people do that before. So with that little caveat, we're going to go ahead and jump on in here. We do have quite a few items to get through. And I need some more morning coffee here shortly. So, <clears throat> first up, I picked up this sweater. Now, um, I don't know this brand. It is Newberry Cush Custom. But it was new at Tab. So that is why I grabbed it. It's kind of like, I don't know if this is a drop shoulder. This might be a drop shoulder because it's kind of a longer... But I liked the um, Whimsical Star Print, and it's kind of a very loose knit, and I liked the peach and cream combo. So I think this was only $6.99. I did try to stay away from a lot of $8.99 items this time. I tried to grab $6.99, $4.99, and things like that. So this was our first purchase. It's very soft. It's slouchy. And it's acrylic nylon. So that was our first. Then... This was actually, they finally moved the short sleeves. So for the longest time, the plus size short sleeves were up on this wall, up on a second rack. I'm 5'3", guys. I ain't finding those. So they finally moved the short sleeve down, and this was in the short sleeve section. It's this beautiful pink and orange and white. It feels like a jean material, but it's a Chico's little shirt that buttons down. A size 3 and it's a linen cotton blend. Now this one I think they had marked $7.99 because it was Chico's. So it's just a nice short sleeve kind of thicker blouse. You can wear it over a tank top. It's got some really cute button details on the front. So this is artsy, boho, all that good stuff. Maybe I wouldn't call it log and look because it's a linen blend and it's not like super flowy but I liked that it's kind of got a tailored look to it. So I am, even though it's only, let's see, what month are we in? Even though it's only October as I'm filming this, you guys will see it in November. I am starting to kind of look ahead a little bit because I'm usually about three or four weeks out of listing when I post these videos to mixing in a little bit of the summer because as my good friend Erin pointed out, who lives in another warm state, I'm in Florida, when summer comes, I will not be able to find tank tops and shorts and short sleeves because it's hot here. So I'm looking for a little bit of that now. And that's where this came in. So this is a Alfred Dunner, which is a mature brand, size 20, cotton poly blend. But it is a very, very cute, um, I don't know if this would be considered a novelty print because it's not like all over but it's this embroidered flamingo blouse. Now this to me is very like beachy, coastal grandma, cruise, vacation. So that is why I picked it up. It just had a lot of really cute, kitschy characters to it. And it's even got a little bit of beading on the palm trees. Hold on, sorry guys. Got to put my phone on do not disturb. And it's blowing up this morning. So this is also great, like someone could wear this over a swimsuit, they can wear it at the coast. So I did grab that, and like I said, it was a cotton blend. Is it missing a button? No, it has all its buttons. Okay. So again, I was in the t-shirt section, so that was $5.99. All their short sleeve blouses were $5.99. 
I picked up this, which is CJ Banks, which I believe is Christopher Banks. It's a mall brand, but if you could feel the softness of this, guys, it is like butter. It is so soft, and it's a cute pink plaid short sleeve. Um, it's got the little darts on the sleeve so the cuff doesn't unroll. This was a 2X. And it is 100% rayon, so it is just like butter. Not as breathable as cotton. Because cotton's breathable. Rayon's a little bit of a warmer fabric, but I believe. But this is cute because this is like um, western, country, uh, prairie. You could wear it open. You could wear it tied up over a shirt. So, and it's a 2X, so I thought that was a cute one. And then I got this, which is a basic kind of baby powder blue V-neck. It is that slub knit that my friend Erin taught me about. And when I talk about Erin, um, her, her eBay is Snowball in Arizona, I believe, and she goes by Thorny Crown. I'll link her eBay store below. She also resells clothing and does a lot of plus size, and she has been guiding me through this journey and I'm just so thankful for all that. Because she'll, she'll like watch my video and I'll say something and then after she'll be like, mm, maybe not the right term. So then I'll put like a little clause under my video because she's helping me, which I really, really appreciate. So the reason I grabbed this for $5.99, being that it was a basic side slit v-neck, is because it is J. Jill, which is a good brand. It is a 2X, which is a good size. And it's Pima Cotton Slub Knit. So it's a really good cotton, and it's got kind of like this rib, not ribbed, but I don't know if you guys can see that texture. And I love the baby blue. So that's the only reason I picked that up for $5.99. And the only thing that's a little bit of a bummer is I do have a little bit of a hole right here because my Goodwill has taken to putting holes through all the fabric now when they put their tabs on. So, okay, so then this is a Liz and Me. And I picked this blouse up because I love the stripes and it's actually, uh, not crochet, needlepoint. Like the little flowers are actually, are they, am I lying? Hold on. I didn't think they were printed. No, you can feel them. They are actually embroidered on there. And now I am just noticing, of course, in the lights, there is one little bleach mark on the back, which I will disclose, because I did look these over. But So this is Liz and Me, it's a 3X 2628, 100% cotton, made in India. So you've got, you know, that boho, bohemian, um, it might be a little, no, I don't want to say log and look, it's cotton, breathable, button down, southwestern, western shirt. So I will just disclose that little bleach mark on the back. It was $5.99. Now, I don't know if... I've seen tabs where it says Liz and Me for Catherine's, I think, or Maggie Barnes. So I don't know a lot about this one. So you guys may want to look that up, Liz and Me. Let's do a little bit more research. Okay, and then our next couple, I think, are all Women Within, which is an online catalog brand. Um, they're sold, I think, on the same website as Romans and Catherine's. I grabbed this because, hello, polka dot. It's this beautiful purple and white polka dot. It's a very nice thick material, kind of almost has a cap sleeve on it. And this was a 3X 3032. And I think this one was cotton. So it's a nice thicker, like when you, it doesn't feel, it's 60% cotton, 40% poly. So it's cotton poly blend. And it was a nice bigger size, which I love to try to get some bigger sizes in my closet. Because all us girls need some cute clothes. So I'm really excited to start grabbing t-shirts. Then I saw this one. So this is a Woman Within 2224. Beautiful. I think this would be like a peasant blouse. It is a printed look. It's got the ruched front. And then it flows. It's very soft. It's got rhinestone detailing all along the bottom and up the front here. And let's see what the material was on this guy. This again is a cotton poly. And it was a good size, a 22-24. So I thought that was super cute. Nice kind of southwestern, boho, prairie, bohemian. 
a little bit of maybe a fit and flare, I don't know, but it's kind of a little bit longer, so if you like to wear leggings and stuff, it can cover a little bit of the tuchus. And then you've got the little bit of bling detail on the front. So again, Women Within. And then this was my last one within. This one's more of a basic tee, but I liked it because it had the stitched cap sleeve that was a little bit longer than a regular short sleeve. It's got kind of like, I think this is a boat neck. And this one was a size 2X as well. And I think this one was a cotton blend as well. So just a nice kind of basic. It was $5.99. It's a longer length. It's got the nice little slits on the side here. And this one is 100% cotton, so that's why I grabbed it. 100% cotton, breathable. So getting a little bit, mixing a little bit, because, you know, I don't want summer to come around and all of a sudden all I have is, like, heavy sweaters in my stores. Okay, so this next one is called Rose and Olive, and I do not know this brand. Um, but I got this because it is a basic white pop over, partial button down, blouse, and I just, something about the style of this. It's a thicker material, it's a longer length, it looks very clean and classic and minimalist and modern. Like, I could see throwing this on um, and then throwing like a blazer or a fun jacket over it. It is a 2X, it says made in China, it's new without tag because it still has the barb for the tag, and it's 100% rayon. And it's got kind of like these little tortoise shell buttons on the front. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I just thought that that would be a really, really nice basic. And if you could see it in person, it's just got very nice stitching and clean lines and a thicker collar. So a very nice closet staple. It's got a, um, what do they call it? Shirt tail bottom where it looks like, you know, like a business shirt where it's rounded on the bottom. Okay, then I got this, which is just my size, JMS. This is a size 2X, 1820. I need to get this listed ASAP because it is a faux crushed velvet, long sleeve top. It buttons down, and the velvet is actually rose print. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that at all. If it'll pick it up, there you go. So it's a semi-sheer because you can kind of see me through it velvet it's polyester so it's I guess that's like a, a faux crushed velvet long sleeve it's got buttons it buttons down the front the last um, velvet piece I had wow that black really messed with the lighting <laughs> the last velvet piece I had sold pretty quickly it was um, like a more formal so I saw that and picked that up now this is one of the items I paid up for this is a Chico's Travelers brand, which is a brand that's known for being easily packable. This retail for $109, and my Goodwill had it marked at $19.99, but I still picked it up because it is a new tag jacket or blazer or cardigan, basically a topper with a single button, new tag, very nice condition, and it is a size 4, which in Chico's is a 2022. And when they have on the tag, you guys may not be able to see it. Sorry, I'm a little farther away today because I have some longer stuff, guys. When Chico's was just putting like the number four or the number three or whatever on their tags, some of the new ones now actually have the size. So this says 2022. And this is a nylon polyester blend, but comps were 40 to 50 for used. And I have new at tag. So. All the new tag stuff I'm going to get listed as quickly as possible. Here we have another catalog brand. This is Romans. This is a size 1820 large and I bought it because it's just this fun crocheted topper cover up in this like boho floral pattern. Need I say more? It's like a pinky orange color. It looks a little bit more orange on the screen. It's pinker on my end and it's 100% uh, cotton. So I grabbed that. I think that was $6.99. Okay, and then I grabbed Cynthia Raleigh. Now, I did not grab it for the brand. And what was I told? Where was Cynthia Raleigh sold? I don't remember where Cynthia Raleigh sold, guys, so you're going to have to look that up online. 
but this was a size 1x and I got it because it looks like a tunic. It's this really, really sweet, gentle, light, kind of calla lily daisy print and it's 100% linen. Let's see, so it's 100% linen. So it's got that kind of log and look, artsy, boho, prairie, cottage core. It's got the roll tab sleeves, but these do not roll down. And it's semi sheer, it's a longer length. So all of that was why I picked this one up, not for the name. And then we have another woman within. I loved this one. This one's kind of a gauzy fabric. And this was a 2628 2X popover, or pull on, I'm sorry, it's not popover because there's no buttons on it. And it's just this long bell sleeve sheer blouse in this really vibrant floral color. I love the colors. It's a nice longer length to cover the tuchus. So I was very excited to get that because these colors just scream like vacation, boho, tropical, and I think they'll do well once the summer comes around or spring. And I buy like all year, everything, whatever I can get. Next I have some Old Navy Plus. This is a 3X. This is more like athleisure, athleisure, loungewear. Um, this one definitely has the drop shoulder. It's a very thin material. It's this cool tie-dye. And I think it's cropped, so it's not cut, but I think it's a shorter waisted piece. It was a good size. I think this one was $6.99, or I think they priced Old Navy for me at about $5 at my Goodwill. 100% cotton. So tie-dye, boho, athleisure, 100% cotton, 3X. No brainer, no brainer. Okay, another Old Navy. Now this one was a bit different. So I liked the pinstriping on this, and this is actually an XL tall, so I guess it's for a taller person, and I liked kind of like the puffing here, and this rounded collar was a bit different, and then you've got a little bit of a balloon sleeve, and you've got the tailored bottom uh, button cuffs. Now there was one small ink stain on this one, I have washed this one already, um, and I left the bar barb on because it is new without tag, and I'll note that it had the barb. I washed it to try to get a little tiny, tiny ink stain out, like it's very, like if you guys came and see that, and it didn't come out, so I will just note that, but it's on the back of a cuff, and this again has that kind of tailored round shirt bottom. Nice work blouse. Okay, and then I got another Cynthia Raleigh, and this one, oh, so much better. I had to wash this one already also because it smelled like someone had dumped a men's cologne bottle on it, <laughs> and my whole garage was stinking. So this is a 1X, kind of sheer, and I got it just because it's like a baby doll style, so it's a little bit looser, it's fun for layering, and it's a classic black and white pinstripe. It's just kind of loose and comfy, and it's got roll tab sleeves. So I liked all of that. I don't, and I still have to um, steam everything. It's 100% rayon. So I just kind of, I went for the look on this one. I like this kind of look. If this would fit me, I'd wear that kind of with some black leggings when I'm out running around thrifting. Okay, so next we got some Eddie Bauer. And I believe Eddie Bauer is now sold at some of the big box stores, like, we have like Sam's Club and BJ's here, but I think it might be sold at Costco and stuff. So I was very careful about what I picked up. The only reason I picked this up was because, okay, first, it's a 2XL 100% cotton. It's this beautiful blue cardigan with, um, I forget what this is called now. I forget what this knit work is called. There's a word for it. But this was very like, librarian, academia, granny core, preppy, old money aesthetic, which I think they're calling contemporary modern now because some people don't like that term. But it just had all these keywords going for it. And it was, I think, a little bit pricier. I think I did have to pay $8.99 for this one. So it's a test. We'll see how it does. But the color cable knit. 
it's got the cable knit. That's what it is. So it's got a lot of like that kind of preppy, like I might even say like Cape Cod, Hamptons. It, I like can see wearing this with like some nice linen capris sitting by a campfire on the beach or curled up like with books in a library. So there's just so much that that's why I grabbed that one. I did have two. The other one was gray and a shorter cut and I was like, you know what? We're just going to go for the blue. And I did wash it because I thought it did have a little fade to it. Like maybe if it sat in the closet and got a little bit of a dust on the color collar. All right, guys, you can tell I need more coffee. Next, we have a Torrid. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this Torrid. Can you see all the little hairs? I believe that's called eyelash. But it's this super, super soft um, sweater. Striped sweater, purples. Like just, it's so soft for cuddling up in. But it's polyester nylon, which surprises me. But size three which is a good size. Like this would actually fit me, but I live in Florida on the surface of the sun, so I don't get to wear sweaters like this, which is fine. It's fine. So yeah, I was happy. And I think that one was only $7.99. So that needs to get listed ASAP. We've got some more Chico's Travelers. Chico's Travelers here. Um, so this was a size three, made in Mexico. And this is kind of like a very Jersey stretchy knit, so it's easy to pack. And it's this great kind of tiger's print we got going on here. But then it has some like random buttons down the back. I don't know if you guys can see those. It's got a couple of buttons right there. So that's kind of interesting. They kind of blend in. And this was acetate and spandex. But I've had a couple of open front cardigans like this that already sold pretty quickly for me. They were in blues. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I'm definitely gonna get this. And it even has a little bit of the flyaway back. So this is great for career, business, travel, vacation, boho, packable, all that stuff. I need to check the buttons because there's some strands falling off of them. But yeah, I think that'll be hopefully a quick sell on that one. Then we have some more J. Jill. We love us some J. Jill. Nice little peasant top here with a little bit of a wider sleeve with the button. Cute inset crochet lace work. Very sheer, longer. So I believe this is a tunic length. This one would be considered login look, which is kind of like the artsy boho bohemian. It is a linen rayon mix. And it was in an XL, so I did grab that. And it's a very, very soft baby blue. So I was excited to find that. And then we got some more Old Navy. This is an Old Navy XL. Let me just make sure I have washed this already because there was a little bit of something on one of the sleeves. So after I finished the video, I want to be able to go ahead and just start steaming these guys. So I got it because it was an XL which isn't, a, I guess, a super old navy plus. I guess XL is considered regular, like up to XL. And then once you start getting into 2X, 3X, all of that, it kind of changes. But I got it because it's like a baby doll top. It's got this little peplum right here. It's got the tassels in good condition. A little bit of lace inset or crochet inset at the sleeves with balloon sleeve. So the color was good. And I think this one was cotton. Or it might be rayon. 100% rayon made in India. And I think it was only $4.19. Because like I said, for some reason, they price all the Old Navy super cheap at my Goodwill. We still have a lot to go, guys. Here we go. Next, we have this beautiful kind of bohemian top. That is very gauzy and sheer. Tons of lace inset on the shoulder, on the back. It's by the brand Fever, size XL. I got it because it was new at Tag. Retailed for $50.99, feverclothing.com. Might be a TJ Maxx thing. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But for all that, I got it. And it's shorter in the front, longer in the back. And it's a rayon linen cotton blend. So the body's rayon, 30%. It's 30 rayon, 32 cotton 30% linen. 
the lace work is cotton nylon, so it's got some good qualities going to it. Fabric, look, flowy, gauzy, oversized, very cute, very cute. And I like it's got the shorter front, longer back. Now this one, I don't know this brand. It's Live Well Active. So it's just an active wear top. That's how I'm going to run it. I like the little cutout on the collar. And I loved this gold veining. If you guys can see that, it's like a soft sweater type. It's got the sweatshirt banding on the arms. This is definitely a drop shoulder because the shoulder's like all the way down here. It's got the sweatshirt banding on the bottom, so it's great for loungewear and all that. And with the holidays, we're all going to need some loungewear after that turkey and stuff. I'm just saying. So I did grab that because it was a 26-28. It feels very soft. Looks never worn. And it's a polyester rayon spandex. So that'll be cute for someone for the holidays. Speaking of holidays... We have some holiday plaid. Thank you, Erin, for talking me into getting the Talbots one. So this is a Talbots Plus size 1X. It is 98% cotton, 1% metallic, a pretty green, red, and it's got some metallic weave in there. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera. It's got like some gold weaving in among the red. So just a nice plaid button down. So when I list this, I will put holiday party, Christmas party, Christmas photo, photos, holiday photos, western, country, all that good stuff, tailored. So we've got that one in Talbots, and then I got a Catherine's, which is super soft, 2X, and this is just the blue and green with silver threading. Super, super soft, long sleeve. This one might be cotton. It does have its replacement button still. Okay, where'd you go, Tab? Oh, it's up here. Yeah, 98% cotton, 2% other, which is probably the metallic threading. So Catherine's, that's always a nice brand to have in the closet. Then I got this Donnie's open front long line cardigan. It's got pockets. You guys can see that. Um, so this is the... I don't know much about this brand. It didn't have super high comps, but it is a one size fits most. And it's kind of like this gray and white that looks green in certain light. And the ribbing is why I got it. It almost has a little bit of that sl slub knit, like the raised knit to it. But this just felt, let's see if I can get back here so you guys can really see it. It felt very like closet staple. I'm hearing the term capsule wardrobe now where I guess people try to buy certain items that they can have fewer items in their closet but mix and match so it's a great neutral layering long line contemporary minimalist modern piece so for all of that I figured I'd give it a try so it's not about the brand it's about the style and it is a cotton poly spandex blend so there you have it. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Okay, so next we have some classic Walmart time and true, but it is this kind of uh, shiny jean sleeveless uh, dress with pockets that's got the shirt tail bottom. Let's see if I can get this. So this to me is like modest 90s conservative, western, country, artsy, boho, because you can throw this under things, you can layer it up, you can throw boots on with it. Like it's a good kind of just basic to mix and match with. And it was in a 2XL size 20 and it's 100% lyocell. So I grabbed that. Okay, so now this next one it's going to be a little hard to show you, so it's like a, uh, I forget what it's called. I want to be careful with it, though. So it's like a mother of the bride dress. It's this beautiful plum lace and then this kind of sheer skirting. It is a size 22 Romans catalog, 
new with tags. So I think this one they charged me $14.99 for, but with the holidays coming, I want to get this listed ASAP because it's a great New Year's. It's a wedding, you know, mother of the bride, wedding guest. It's got all this beautiful sequencing and lace. And this, it's not Chanel. Oh, I forget what this is called, but like this, tool, not tool, it's like this sheer layered bottom. And it's a midi length, so it's nice and kind of conservative. So I'm going to put that back up over the hanger so that it doesn't get all messed up. And then I got a fun kimono. So this is by a brand called Lil D. It's a bubble sleeve duster, large XL. So it's just a really fun, funky, boho, long sleeve, elastic arm duster. It is very long. This would drag on the ground for me. But I loved the fun, bold, geometric prints. I think it was, no, it's not new with tag. Was it new with tag? Nope. No pockets. It does have slits on the side. So just a fun kind of long line kimono duster duster topper boho so in this one i might put like boho bohemian western i might throw in rodeo because i know rodeo season's coming up in the western states because someone could totally wear that with jeans and like layer it up with some bling and then of course guys i got y'all some skirts so here we have the modernist collection lane bryant size 18 this really nice Thick material orange polka dot skirt with this fun it's got kind of like a banding at the bottom it's this fun orange color it's a nice thick material so this is really nice for fall let me let you get a look at that polka dot so again it's a Lane Bryant I do think I need to just adjust there's a little kind of like clip thing on the back let's see if it'll show and this might be a little bit loose but other than that it's just a nice Thick, basic. Do we have a tag? What were you made of? And it's cotton. 99% cotton, 1% spandex. So nice, breathable. And then we got some 90s. We got some modest. We've got a nice, midi, light, faux denim, chambray style, button down skirt. So we're going to take that in for a minute. Love that. Love that look. 90s boho western. It's by Cato, established 1946. It's the 1820 made in India. And it's a snap button front, which is fun. And if I can find the material tag, I think it was cotton. Let's see. 100% cotton. Yep. So, and it is a little, like, because um, it's a light, thin material, it is just a tiny bit see-through, like, you stand right in front of my big old lights here. But I'm excited for that to get that listed. And then this one I paid, I think I had to pay $17.99 for this. So this is a new tag, Lane Bryant, um, three-quarter sheer sleeve elastic arm. And it is a super long paisley high-low dress. So it's longer in the back, shorter in the front. It does have a slip under it. So um, it's not super sheer. It retail for $80. So I may start this at like $35, $40 and see what happens. But it's got a super pretty paisley neon 70s boho going on. I do want to scoop this back up on here so it doesn't get caught and anything happen to it. And then I picked up an, a kimono. So this is a shorter sleeve one, more the kimono style with a little arm pocket. It is Maurice's. Um, it is a size LXL, just kind of like a nice little basic topper and some black and red. Nice for fall, boho, southwestern, bohemian. You can tell I have a theme. All right, now we got some vintage Romans going on. So this is, so this originally it says was a three-piece set. It's an 18W, and it has one little hook here, but it's just this long open front lace piece 
with the white satin fabric. So this I would put like granny core, um, maybe like uh, cottage core, coastal grandma, wedding. Someone may want this for like a vintage wedding deal. I don't know. It was just a really cool kind of topper in really nice condition. I'll put like romantic. I have to think of more words that deal with lace and stuff, but just a fun kind of super long topper. Something different. And then we have some more of our basic Chico's in a size three, just a nice long tee in a bright, bold red floral print. So the three, again, I think is like a 16, 18. It'd be like an extra large, just a nice little basic tee. This one was only $6.99, so I grabbed it. Um, here we have, I'm testing out Beach Lunch Lounge in an XL. This had been dry cleaned recently, so I'm going to leave that dry clean tag on. It's a super soft, just tie front, baby pink, button down, wide, boxy, loungy top. Very cute. Very soft, very slouchy, long sleeve. So we'll see how that one does. And we're getting there, guys. We've got, we've got four items left. So if you hung in there with me, I appreciate it. I'm hoping to have at least one clothing haul for you a month. We'll see how that goes. So next I picked this up because it's another one of those kind of like gauzy accordion sheer tops. It's got an ombre from red to like a dark purple. It's got, it's a tunic with this fun beading. Now I think this is Maggie Barnes. It, yeah, it's a 3X 2628. It's 100% polyester. But I had some of this style in Catherine's that sold for me nicely. So I figured I'd test this because it's a nice larger size. It's open. It's gauzy. With red for Christmas, someone could wear this to a Christmas party, holiday party, and they can wear it with a nice pair of black slacks, and it'd be comfortable for them. And then we've got some Bob Mackie wearable art. So Bob Mackie wearable art is, I think, a QVC. And I got this because it's got this fun novelty print with this, like, neon nautical. So it's kind of, I don't know if this would be a kimono. But it's just kind of like another little cover up with the really long sleeves and the magenta and the purple stripe. And I always say it's not a trip to my goodwill until I find a Bob Mackie piece. I usually have one in each haul. I've not sold any yet, but that's because I have three that still aren't listed. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. Okay, now this one is super cute. This is a Catherine's 2X. It's a linen cotton blend. So brand, size material and it's got this super cute all over novelty lemon print. Just a nice blouse. I think it's three quarter sleeve but enclosure. Super fun lemon print with on this pretty pretty blue linen cotton breathable packable. Well probably not packable but breathable kind of tortoise shell buttons. And last guys but not least we had to have more torrid in the haul. So this is a torrid um, super soft sweater top with like the shoelace crisscross on the front and it is a size one um, and it's rayon polyester I think a one gosh I don't remember what a one is I think a one's kind of like a large XL and it's got the like sweater sleeve the tucked in sweater on the bottom just a basic black lace and that is it guys, that is our 42 item haul. So if you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. As I noted, please remember, I am still learning and I'm learning my terms. So make sure if you're starting your, or your own dive into the clothing world, go with your gut, what you like. Do, make sure you do your own research as well as I have been doing. And if you saw anything you liked um, and you don't see it online, please feel free to reach out to me at sidestreetmarketsales at gmail.com. I will do my best to get back to you within 24 hours and we will figure something out. So thanks guys. I'll see you soon.